This video is designed to provide KBS vendors the knowledge and training for the Lowe's Cleaning and Polishing Program. We will focus on five main topics, including daily preparation, machine setting, scrubber operation, daily scrubber cleanup, weekly scrubber inspection, Dama brush tools and blades. Daily preparation. Start by unplugging the scrubber from the outlet. Be sure to wrap the charging cord securely and properly in the correct location on the machine. On the scrubber, there is an audible safety alarm that has a constant beep as you ride the machine to alert customers when the machine is in operation. This is standard and the beeping is normal. At the start of each day, remove the clear vacuum pressure cap to be sure the recovery tank is empty. Then check the clean water tank and fill it with water. Replace the vacuum pressure cap in order for the scrubber to work properly. Next, lift the side squeegee to ensure the Dimer brush tools are installed and they have color on the tips of the blades. Do not operate the machine if the Dimer brush tools are not installed. Machine settings. There are two keys to operate the Tomcat GTX. One to turn on the machine, and the other to enable the water and down pressure adjustments. The on-off is located to the left of the steering wheel. On the right side, the top is to enable the water, and the bottom is to enable the down pressure. After the machine is switched on, Check to see if the batteries are charged. Also, the machine should be set to medium water and maximum down pressure. If these settings are not correct, use the second key to enable the adjustment for each. The top enables the water adjustment. Use this toggle button to adjust up or down until the setting is set to medium water. The lower enables the down pressure. Use this toggle up or down and set to maximum down pressure. The second key should not be needed once the proper settings for the water and down pressure are in place. The keys should be stored with store management to avoid any adjustments to the machine. On the steering column, there is a lever that can adjust the steering column so it can be set for your comfort. If on the LED screen on the command center displays an error code of 7900, that means the emergency stop button on the unit has been pressed. You must pull the button out to remove this error code. The emergency stop button is either located on the back or side of the Tomcat machine, depending on the model in the store. Machine operation. Follow these important procedures in this order before operating the machine. Turn the forward reverse switch to forward. Lower the squeegee and enable the vacuum by pressing this switch. Move the machine forward by depressing the foot pedal. Now that the machine is moving forward, press this button to lower the brush deck and enable the water. Never lower the brush deck when the machine is standing still. Operate the machine at a slow pace of one to one and a half miles per hour. Before stopping, always raise the brush deck. Lifting your foot off the foot pedal will stop the machine. To operate the machine in reverse, once the machine is stopped, switch the forward reverse switch to reverse. Reverse operates the machine at approximately 50% of the forward speed. It's important to never lower the brush deck and squeegee in reverse. Daily Scrubber Cleanup At the end of the cleaning session, it is now time to clean and prep the machine for the next day's use. Remove the pressure cap, unscrew the hose to the recovery tank attachment, and empty the tank into the Lowe's facility's approved wastewater drain. Next, use a hose to rinse out the recovery tank. Be sure to always rinse out the drain saver basket and float ball located in the recovery tank. Cleaning the recovery tank has to be done. If the tank isn't rinsed, there could be major damage to the machine. Once the tank is rinsed, reattach the recovery tank hose to the machine. 
Now, be sure to fill the clean water tanks and replace the tank cover back to its correct location. Next, be sure to remove the squeegee assembly off the machine. Clean the squeegee daily to ensure it is clean for the next cleaning session. Be sure to plug the scrubber back into the designated outlet so the batteries can charge. Lastly, prior to finishing the cleaning session, please wipe down the machines so it is kept clean. Weekly Scrubber Inspection Each week there are a few items that need to be completed in order to maintain the scrubber. Inspect and clean the clean water solution tank's filter to ensure that there are no obstructions and it is flowing properly. Check the water level in all the batteries once per week. The batteries need distilled water in order to function. Failure to keep the batteries will prematurely wear the batteries, which is a costly error. The water level in each battery should be kept just above the lead plates. Contact your KBS manager with questions about the batteries. Dimer brush tools and blades. Using the Dimer brush tools daily to clean the Lowe's floors will clean and polish the store indefinitely. It is imperative that the Dimer brush blades are used every day. Dimer brush assembled tools consist of the brush block, the black retainers, the blades, and the clutch plate or connector. The Dimer brush blades should always have color on the blade. If there's less than one quarter of an inch of color, please inform your KBS zone manager. If there is no color at all, the blade should not be used. Blade Replacement KBS cleaners should check the Dimer brush tools daily to be sure there is color on the Dimer brush blade. If there is little to no color on the blades, the KBS cleaner should alert their zone manager that new blades are needed. It is extremely important that the Dimer brush tools aren't used when there is no diamond or color on the blade. KBS zone managers must change the Dimer brush blades right away to ensure the floor continues to improve. Take the Dimer brush tools off the machine and clean them. Rinse the tools with water, removing any buildup debris or dirt from the blocks and screws. You should also use a small, stiff wire brush to knock out any dirt on top of the screws. This will prevent the screws from being stripped. You can find replacement Dimer brush blades in an envelope in the Lowe's store's manager's office or in the Lowe's janitor closet. If more blades are needed, please send an email to KBS Corporate requesting blades. When ordering, email purchasing at kbsservices.com with the following information to complete the order. Low store number, KBS ID number, point of contact name, point of contact email, point of contact phone number, products needed, and quantity needed. To replace the blades, unscrew all of the screws holding the black blade retainers to the brush block. Remove and dispose of the remaining white blade segments on the tool by simply pushing them through the retainers. Once the old blades are removed, you will load in the new Dimer brush blades you have received in the store. Insert the new blades into the larger retainer recessed slots with the flared edge pointing away. Be sure to install all the blades, making sure the bottom of each blade sits flush to the retainer. Failure to properly install the blades will lead to premature blade life. Using the same number three Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the screws in each retainer quadrant. Be sure not to over tighten the screws or this could cause them to strip. Make sure all four retainers are fastened to the brush block. Then reinstall the Dimer brush tools to the machine. They are now ready for use. To install the Dimer brush tools to the machine, be sure the machine is powered off. Make sure the scrubber deck is in the raised position. Open the side squeegees on the machine. Line up the Dimer brush tool with the scrubber's drive motor. Lift the brush so the clutch plate attaches to the scrubber's drive hub. 
Once the tool is secure, reinstall the side squeegees. Blade life will vary based on the condition of the concrete in the store. The Dama brush blades are replaceable. Be sure to look at the blades daily. There are three different colors of Dama brush blades. Green is for rougher floors, red is for smooth floors, tan is for polished, extremely smooth floors. Dama brush determines which grit is ordered. However, we mention this so you are aware of the different colors. If there is damage to the Dama brush tools, including blades, blocks, screws, retainers, please contact your KBS zone manager. KBS zone managers will place any orders that are needed. If there are repairs needed to the Tomcat scrubber, please submit a repair request form using KBS Force. Thank you for your commitment to the KBS Lowe's cleaning program.